have to let go of what was for what is. This is the reality. And the moment that I accept reality, all of a sudden, everything changes. When we accept the truth, and we bend to its power, and we step out of lying into living. This is freedom. The man who lives a lie is the man who is his own prisoner. The truth will set you free. Nothing more. The truth will set you free. Nothing more. I choose to live by choice and not by chance. I choose to make changes and not excuses. I choose motivation over manipulation. I choose to excel and not compete. I choose self-esteem over self-pity. I choose to listen to the voice from within versus the voices from without. I choose to fulfill my destiny. I choose to get the job done. I choose to finish what I started. No fear, no hesitation, no surprise, no doubt. Free yourself from the debilitating disease of fear. It has manipulated you long enough. It has tranquilized your faith. The fear of inadequacy. The fear... If someone emphasizes that they are telling the truth, you can be sure they are lying. Accept that you will make mistakes and learn from them instead of dwelling on them. You must be the change you wish to see in the world. Mahatma Gandhi There is a healthy amount of distrust to have in everyone. No one knows what his powers are until he uses them. The silence is the language of God. All else is poor translation. Eckhart Tolle Never ever be without. I grant you that your gifts will take you places that will literally amaze you. I grant you that if you begin to work to develop your gifts, you'll develop a strong sense of happiness. You'll get a larger vision of yourself because part of beginning to get a larger vision of yourself, all of us need some area of our lives where we can have a feeling of competence. That people know when they think about this area, that's something you do. That you eat and sleep that. And that you do that, you do that. And people know it. And you know it, and you know that you know that you know this. If you don't know anything else, you know this. Can you tell I know I know what I'm doing? Oh, uh, hello. <laughs> you know this. So you've got to work on it. When other folk are having a good time, you've got to have this, the strength of character to concentrate, to read, to digest information. If you decide in any particular area that you're concerned about, to make a conscious, deliberate, determined effort to read one book a month in that area. In five years, you'll be among the top 5% experts in the world. I read a minimum of two books a week. The average American reads only one book a year. If you decide that area that you love, that you are going to master that particular area, in this era, of accelerated change, overwhelming complexity, and tremendous competition. As you begin to develop and expand your skills and your talents and your vision of yourself, you will always be in control of your destiny. The next thing is whatever it is that you want to do, you want to do it massively. 
Some men want fame and status, thinking that they would thus make themselves secure against other men. If the life of such men really were secure, they have attained a natural good. If, however, it is insecure, they have not attained the end which by nature's own prompting they originally sought. Live for the praise of others, and you will become their prisoner. Do not make a permanent decision based on temporary emotions. Carpe diem, seize the day, Horace. Intellect is invisible to the man who has none. No matter how busy you may think you are, you must find time for reading or surrender yourself to self-chosen ignorance. If you are irritated by every rub, how will your mirror be polished? Rumi. comes from a very quiet place in your mind. And when you can organize it, you have to organize your mind. And when you have so much noise and distraction, there's no organization in that. So I believe in keeping my circle real small and those people know who, they know what they get from me. And I know what I get from them and it keeps me going forward, never stagnant. And that's when I started to develop these things through working out. It was this great, never ending work ethic. And through work ethic, I developed self-esteem. I always equated working out to struggle. And I struggled my whole life, but I ran from it. So I started realizing, man, I got to start facing the struggle and I got to be mentally strong for the struggle. So that's why I started kept coming up with like, I, I'm training for life. Mentally, I'm training for life. I'm not training for like, I don't care about winning trophies. I don't care about winning anything. All I want to do is go to distance. And I found out on my own pretty much is that through this, through, through discipline, through self-discipline, through repetition, through tons of repetition of the same thing that you don't want to do. And that's, the, and that's the key thing. Through repetition of things you don't want to do, you develop mental, like uh, like an armor for your mind. You start to armor your mind. Because your mind's like, okay, we suffer, we suffer every day. That's what we do. We do stuff that sucks every day. So then when the suck stuff comes, you're ready for it. And that's how I started coming up. You know, I just started being very uncomfortable. And now I'm, it's like a, just a way of life. And I am happy because this is my lifestyle. This is what I want to do. But trying to find your best self, you become unbalanced. And people always talk about this mythical creature called the balance. You want to be balanced. I, I think balance is a bunch of bullshit. Yes, I really do. You think for everybody? I think, yeah, I think almost for everybody. For it is a thing very possible that a man should be a very divine man and yet be altogether unknown. This thou must ever be mindful of, as of this also, that a man's true happiness doth consist in very few things, and that although thou dost despair, that thou shalt ever be a good, either logician or naturalist, yet thou art never the further off by it from being either liberal or modest or charitable or obedient unto God. Don't depend too much on anyone in this world, because even your own shadow leaves you when you are in darkness. Never let others know your weaknesses. Instead, always try to show up your positives. How does it help to make troubles heavier by bemoaning them? Seneca Progress is not achieved by luck or accident, but by working on yourself daily. Who dares nothing needs hope for nothing. The true measure of the value of any business leader and manager is performance. Brian Tracy.